If you set out on a mission to see everything that Florence has to offer, it will take weeks indeed. In fact, this small city is a showcase of the remarkable Italian Renaissance, the artistic and humanistic movement that proudly broke out Europe from the chains of the Dark Ages. Some of the places to visit in Florence are among the best-known tourist attractions in Italy, including an eminent collection of landmarks, museums, churches, and palaces. Florence is a hub for all the exciting things to try in Italy. If you're still thinking about what to see in Florence, Italy, you're at the right place. So let's take a good look, shall we? Number 1. Piazza Signoria in Palazzo Vecchio The first most attractive destination is Piazza Signoria, the center of Florence's political life and its most handsome square. Here you'll find the town hall, Palazzo Vecchio, with a medieval fortress-like exterior and a splendid Renaissance interior. The Medici resided there in the 16th century and totally restored it to suit their taste. Right in front of the entrance, a copy of the Statue of David welcomes visitors. The Loggia del Lanzi is a 14th century addition to the square, originally used for public ceremonies. Today, a collection of statues is hosted under the Loggia, from Roman sculptures to the 19th century. The impressive Perseus holding the head of Medusa is a masterpiece by Renaissance sculptor Cellini. Number 2. San Lorenzo and Michelangelo's Medici Tombs the Medici commissioned the best talent for the family church and burial chapels. Brunelleschi for the church and Michelangelo for the chapel intended to memorialize their most illustrious princes. Both artists died before finishing the work, but Brunelleschi's church was completed according to his plans. Michelangelo's chapel, called the New Sacristi, was not. In fact, it was never completed at all. But what he did finish is considered one of the world's crowning achievements in marble sculpture. As you tour the church, the old sacristy, the new sacristy, the prince's chapel, and the Lorenziana library, you'll find the works of other Renaissance masters, including Donatello and Lippi. Number 3. Cinque Terre If you are an adventure lover, you may even try a one-day hike at Cinque Terre, which is a UNESCO-listed site. Experience Old World Italy while you go through the five idyllic fishing villages. You can even enjoy the glorious views of the unspoiled stretch of Italian Riviera after walking through the trails along the cliffs of this national park and soak up the atmosphere on a boat ride along the Riviera. This definitely answers your question, what to see in Florence? Number 4. Battistero di San Giovanni Battistero di San Giovanni is one of the oldest churches in Florence. It is octagonal in shape and entirely covered in white and green marble. Considered as one of the most beautiful places to visit in Florence, the Battistero di San Gianovi is part of the Piazza del Duomo, and there is a dome in the center that is divided into eight segments. The most unique part of the baptistry is the interior of the dome that is done up in Byzantine mosaic. Here you will also find the tomb of the anti-pope, John XXIII. The structure has three doors, and the most important one is the Gate of Paradise, which was sculpted by a 22-year-old artist, Lorenzo Ghiberti. Number 5. Boboli Gardens Boboli Gardens is not only a garden, but one of the most spectacular open-air museums that showcases the cultural heritage of Florence. The garden is home to several ancient oak trees, phenomenal sculptures, fountains, and lovely canopies and shades. It is designed in the European royal garden style, which is mainly found in Versailles. Its design, creation, and development spans over four centuries, starting from the 15th to the 19th century. The whole garden covers an area of 111 acres of beautifully landscaped grounds. The original plan was drawn by the famous court architect, Niccolo Tripolo. Number 6. Loggia del Lanzi Renaissance art and architecture are on full display at this ceremonial building adjacent to a corner of the Piazza della Signoria. Supported by columns topped with Corinthian capitals, wide arches invite visitors to view the sculptures under the bay of this open-air gallery. Benvenuto Cellini's bronze statue of Perseus holding the head of Medusa is a star attraction. Carved from a single block of white marble, The Rape of the Sabine Women by G.M. Bologna is awe-inspiring as well. Considered a masterpiece of composition and movement, the dramatic sculpture was constructed to be viewed from all sides. Number 7. Uffizi Gallery Regarded today as one of the world's greatest art museums, the Uffizi Gallery is located off the Piazza della Signoria. 
This former palace was first built in 1560 to house the offices of the city magistrates. After the ruling dynasty of the Medici family relinquished its power, the palace evolved into an art gallery to showcase its stunning collection of Renaissance art treasures. Opened to the public in 1765, the museum offers thousands of artworks by masters like Michelangelo, Botticelli, Leonardo da Vinci, and Titian. Number 8. Ponte Vecchio Let's be honest, Ponte Vecchio is probably one of the most well-known bridges in Europe. Not only is it a stunning piece of history, but it's still one you can use to this day. Built way back in the 12th century, Ponte Vecchio has some stunning views over the Arno River and some gorgeous houses and stalls to see. That being said, once you're on the bridge, there are literally loads of ways to part with your hard-earned cash, especially with the jewelry stores. For a great view of Ponte Vecchio, head along the banks of the River Arno and see it from a distance. It's stunning. If you want a really special experience, then book this incredible helicopter tour over Florence that is just beautiful. You'll get to see the likes of Duomo, Ponte Vecchio, Palazzo Vecchio, and loads more. You'll love it. Number 9. San Lorenzo Market and Mercato Centrale after wandering the whole day through Florence, a break for a traditional meal or souvenirs is the perfect way to relax and see locals in their habitat. The San Lorenzo Market is an open space and indoor market in which you can buy traditional food, leather objects, or any kind of souvenirs for your friends and family. Did you know that you can ask your seller to give you a vacuum bag for the food you buy? This makes it easier for you to take the food back home. It's also recommended to bargain for everything you buy because you will likely get a discount. This is one of the best places to visit in Florence if you want to taste the Italian lifestyle. Number 10. Florence Cathedral and Baptistry This one is easy. Anyone visiting Florence needs to visit the heart and soul of the city, the Duomo. Its red-tiled dome is famous all over the world for being a daring architectural experiment. Climbing to the top is one of those experiences you won't easily forget. The view from atop Brunelleschi's dome is well worth the steep and narrow climb. There are 430 steps to get to one of Florence's finest panoramas. Alternatively, you can climb Giotto's bell tower from where you can take pictures of the dome. Either way, don't miss the view from up there. So that's all for a must-see list for first-timers who want to make sure they don't miss a thing in the city of the Renaissance. Hope you guys have your bucket list ready. Tell us in the comments down below which spot you are planning to visit and hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching.